I'm Julie, your video trainer. Dashin is well known for having an extensive grill program. We offer lots of variety to customers from traditional hot dogs to breakfast sausages and more to a condiment bar and even chili and cheese. Today, we're going to focus on executing best practices for maximizing sales and profits related to our grill program. Let's get started. Before beginning, let's review the tools we'll need. These include your properly thawed dash in approved grill products and rolls, disposable gloves, serving tongs, utensils, grill tags, calibrated thermometer, sanitizer solution, a clipboard, pencil, grill forecast tool, and brush. Ensure that you're always beginning with a clean and sanitized workstation. Prior to handling food or food contact surfaces, Wash and dry your hands thoroughly and put on disposable gloves. Grill equipment dial settings have been pre-calibrated to heat and hold products at the appropriate temperatures. Set the rear roller dial, the section of rollers farthest away from customers, to 9 or to heat for item heating. Set the front roller dial, the sections of rollers closest to the customer, to 5 to 6 or hold for holding. It's important to remember that if the grill has been turned off and needs preheating, this could take up to 30 minutes. And heating roller grill items to the proper serving temperature of 140 degrees takes about 20 to 30 minutes. So make sure you allow yourself about an hour to prepare so that you'll be customer ready throughout the day. Using tongs, place grill items onto rollers to heat using your store's day part specific planogram. Following the grill layout planogram will help you to optimize sales units for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and late night. And unlike some programs, sales history has proven that grill items are purchased throughout the entire day, even during the late night hours. Items will take approximately 20 to 30 minutes to heat to the appropriate serving temperature of 140 degrees. Some of our stores have self-service grill bars, where customers serve themselves from the grill bar. And some of our stores have full-serve grill bars where we serve the customers their grill bar item. If you have a full-service grill bar, you also have a full-service bun warmer. If the bun drawer is off when you arrive, preheat it to 110 degrees. You'll know it has reached the right temperature when the light at the front of the unit turns off. Place hot dog rolls in their original packaging inside the drawer. Be sure to keep packaging sealed tightly when not in use. Oh, and do not add water to the bun warming unit. It's not necessary and could damage the unit. If you have a self-service grill bar, you have a self-service bread case as well. Keep serving containers, paper products such as Tornado bags, and of course, hot dog rolls fully stocked and well presented at the bread case. Rolls hold for three days once placed in the case. Write the discard date and time on a FIFO sticker and attach it to the packaging. When stocking new rolls, be sure to place them behind the older rolls to ensure the older rolls are served first. No grill program would be complete without fresh and delicious condiments. This allows customers to create their own unique snack or meal. Remember to verify freshness before stocking product for the condiment bar. Unopened vinegar-based condiments such as pickles, pepper rings, and relish hold for 14 days. Always serve fresh condiments in clean and sanitized containers with lids and appropriate serving utensils. Make sure to fill condiment containers in the food service area away from customer view. Carry filled condiment containers, lids, and one utensil for each to the condiment station. Place condiments into appropriate spots according to your store's planogram. Remember, fresh condiments at the station hold for 24 hours. Refill condiments when needed throughout the day using clean and sanitized containers each time. Remember to follow FIFO by never mixing old and new products on the condiment bar. Next, ensure that all bottled and packaged condiments are within code date, fully stocked, and neatly organized at the station. Did you know that we have chili cheese dogs? We do, and they are so delicious. 
Actually, customers can make any dog a chili cheese dog any time of day or night using this machine. Chili and cheese is ready to serve at a temperature of 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Machine temperature should be set to 145 to maintain product temperature. This machine is designed only to hold product at the right temperature, not heat it. So before loading product into the machine, we'll heat the individual bags of sauce in the microwave. Heat each bag separately using two minute cycles, removing from the oven and massaging the bag between each cycle to distribute heat evenly. Make sure to wear oven mitts to protect yourself from getting burned. After each two minute cycle, take the temperature of the bag. If it's not at 140 degrees or higher, repeat the process. Normally, it takes three two minute cycles for product to reach 140 degrees. Carry the product to the station for loading into the machine. Chili and cheese holds for five days once installed in the machine. Write the discard date and time on a FIFO sticker and attach it to the bag. One more important note about the chili and cheese machine. Spills are bound to occur throughout the day, so use the towel in the sanitizer bucket to wipe them up often, and keep the drip tray clear. Using a napkin to cover up spills or avoid regular cleaning may give our customers the wrong impression, and we certainly don't want that. And follow sanitation guidelines by taking the drip tray to the three compartment sink for a good cleaning at least every four hours. We are done setting up our condiment bar and bread case, so let's go check on our grill products. They must be just about ready to serve. Ensure that grill products have reached the appropriate serving temperature of 140 degrees using a calibrated thermometer to check at least three different products. Move thoroughly heated grill products from the heating to the holding section of the grill. Ensure proper position and display by using your store-specific day part planogram. Keep all planogram and job aids handy so that you can refer to them as needed. Position each grill item behind the appropriate grill tag so customers can easily and quickly find the product they're looking for. Ensuring proper hold time and temperature of prepared food are so important to keeping food safe and quality high. That's why we use time code stickers and logs. Verify grill items are at the proper temperature. That's 140 degrees every two hours using a calibrated thermometer. Record temperatures on the grill forecast tool. This will help to keep us in good standing with the health department and build customer trust that we hold food safety as a top priority. Products hold on the roller grill for four hours. Keep the grill full by adding new products as needed. Always rotate products using FIFO. That's first in, first out. Making sure the oldest products are closest to the customer. Discard products that have reached their expiration time and record properly using the appropriate grill forecast tool. Spot clean grill and condiment areas throughout the day to maintain excellent presentation and appearance. Clean grill and grill bar equipment on a daily basis. Refer to your grill bar daily sanitation job aid for specific cleaning instruction. To ensure grill execution remains a top priority, discuss team goals and expectations and work together to achieve success. How? By keeping the roller grill and condiment station stocked with fresh products, following the planograms, ensuring food safety practices are followed, and by interacting with customers about the roller grill offerings. Providing a full variety of fresh and delicious roller grill products builds sales and loyalty as customers will keep coming back for the awesome experience you're providing, day after day. This concludes roller grill execution. We've covered a lot. Are you ready to go practice? Excellent, I'm confident you'll do a great job. When you feel you're ready, be sure to complete the roller grill assessment. Score 90% or better to gain certification in this module.